Oh yeah! This weekend, I entered my first ever strongman competition. Uh, and the reason I wanted to share this with you is because it's something that I've been aiming at for a really long time. Um, and I would like to encourage more of you to lift vehicles while listening to doom metal in car parks on Sunday mornings. Jimmy. Going into the competition, I didn't really have any goals of like getting on the podium or, or winning or anything like that. It was literally just to uh, have an experience, meet some other cool athletes, um, and just put in a good performance. Um, I knew I'd have quite a few friends come in, uh, and I'm so grateful for all the support uh, that uh, all of you guys showed me. Uh, as you'll see from the footage, it turned out to be a pretty uh, hectic, rainy day. Uh, so I massively appreciate you know all, all my mates coming out um, and standing around under, under umbrellas, uh, cheering me on. Uh, it really uh, made my day. So uh, as I said. I entered Lansing's Strongest Man, uh, it was on Sunday the 25th of July, just gone. Uh, I was entered in the under 90 kilogram men's category, uh, there were 8 competitor competitors in total uh, and there were meant to be 5 events. Uh, but unfortunately, due to the weather, uh, one of the events got changed last minute uh, and the last event, which was meant to be the Atlas Stones, uh, or Atlas Stone to Platform, uh, got cancelled because it was unsafe. So the opening event was the Overhead Press Medley. Uh, I knew going in that I'd be able to uh, press and lock out a 90 kilogram log. Um, which I've done kind of multiple times over the last few months uh, in training, so that was really cool. Uh, but then the second implement was a hundred kilogram axle, which, if you don't know, is like it's a, like a really thick barbell. It's like a coke can like this, which means it's really difficult to hold on to, and it's just like a really awkward maneuver to kind of get it into a clean. Um, so I, unfortunately, I failed that rep, um, and I, I had a bit of a, a dicky elbow. Um, going in so I didn't really want to push myself and you know get an injury or anything uh, so yeah you'll see from the footage Come on, let's go, come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got this, there you are. Come on, you got time. Well done, give him a round of applause. One of the judges there uh, is this incredible female athlete called Rhiannon Lovelace and she's like the pound for pound uh, strongest woman in the entire world uh, and she is just an absolute beast. When I failed the axle, I kind of thought I saw a bit of a look of disappointment in her in her eye, <laughs> so I knew that coming into the next event, um, I needed to kind of uh, do a lot better. So the second event was the car deadlift. Um, so I was really nervous throughout the entire day. In fact, I didn't quite realise uh, how much nerves would affect me. The whole thing was very intimidating. So as I strapped up to um, get ready for the lift, uh, Rhiannon just kind of looked at me and said, now is your chance to redeem yourself. And trust me, when Rhiannon Lovelace tells you to lift something, you lift it. So yeah, here's the video of me lifting the car, which I'm really happy with. Come on, Jim! 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 Come on,
on, ten seconds, Jim. Go, Jim. Yes, Jimmy. So I got 11 reps uh, in total. Uh, one rep got disallowed though, so I actually did lift the car 12 times, uh, but nerves, uh, adrenaline, um, and just inexperience. I lifted before the lift command, um, so I actually locked it out 12 times, but uh, only 11 counted. Um, but I'm quite happy, because I think I came like third or fourth out of everyone in that event, uh, which was pretty awesome. The next event was the cone and wheel, uh, which is kind of like a zercher carry event, where you pick the implement up in the crux of your elbows, uh, and you just walk around in a circle, um, just for repetitions basically, as many times around as you can in a minute. I was super nervous, I hadn't really um, had a chance to ever train on a Conan wheel, um, and honestly I didn't even know if I would be able to pick the thing up in the first place. Um, so I'm really happy, I managed to get three repetitions, uh, which wasn't the best, um, but I did what I could. Um, and you'll see from the video that the Conan wheel is never fun. Well done, Jimmy. How was that, man? <laughs> and then uh, it turned out that there was a massive rainstorm, basically, on the day. Uh, so they changed the what was meant to be a keg carry to a farmer's carry, then they cancelled off the last event, uh, which is a bit annoying because I was really looking forward to lifting some stones. I think it's literally my favorite exercise to do. So on the day, anyway, it turned out the last event was a farmer carry and you were allowed to use straps because it was just hammering down with rain. Um, and yeah, I hadn't really trained farmer's carry, uh, never really done a farmer's carry as heavy as 90 kilograms per hand. So when I picked the thing up, they just took me for a ride. I was like one of those inflatable tube men all over the place. Uh, but I did manage to like, get like a score of about like 11 and a half seconds or something. Also, another massive shout out to one of the other competitors in my weight category called Charles Mears. Um, <laughs> the guy, just to make us all feel amazing about ourselves, uh, actually did a half marathon in the morning, competed in the strongman competition, and then did another half marathon after the competition uh, for a Sussex Mind a mental health charity. Um, so, massive shout out to Charles. So impressive, dude. Um, and I've chucked in a donation um, to the fundraiser and actually included a link to the fundraiser as well uh, in the description of the video wherever you're watching this. Uh, and so in the end, um, I placed, they did like the whole like award ceremony thing uh, where I got a little participation medal, which was pretty nice. Um, I think in the end, uh, there were two guys who came joint seventh, then I was sixth. To be honest, I had a, a really good time and I think like going ahead now, um, I'm not sure if I'll enter another competition this year. I've got a lot of work to do. Um, I mean, I'm a 34 year old with high cholesterol and a borderline anxiety disorder who makes jewelry for a living. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not expected to become world's strongest man, uh, but I would like to go back uh, maybe to Lansing next year, uh, lose some weight, compete in the under 80s. 
it was a wicked, wicked experience. Massive shout out to uh, the team at South Coast Gym in Lansing uh, for organizing the whole event. Um, it was really unfortunate about the weather. If you're watching this and um, you know, you're just getting into fitness, then I hope it inspires you to um, lift some unusual stuff uh, because I love strength sports and I just want everyone to kind of get into it as much as what I have. I get so much out of it, and I hope that some of you guys do too. Uh, and I also hope that, you know, if you are thinking about doing a strongman competition, um, you know, that you just get stuck in and get involved, because honestly, uh, the, the, you know, the camaraderie on the day and everything is just so cool. Such a good experience. Um, you know, there's no, like, pressure to be, like, the most powerful person there. Everyone's really supportive. And it's just a good laugh, and you'll meet some cool people. So... Thank you very much. Um, check out Charles's fundraiser. Like the video. Uh, go and lift some cars. It's time to put you guys away. Mm -hmm.